the clock is now ticking for stores in the state to remove vaping products from their shelves. And of course, this is a move that will impact a lot of former smokers who rely on vape pens. WBZ's Louisa Moeller picks up our team coverage from Brighton tonight. This is on the golden cookie pudding. Give it a smoke. For a business that's only been open for one year, Jonathan Lau's vape shop in Cleveland Circle is buzzing. These cartridges. But on Tuesday, the owner of two different vape shop locations got news that could drastically change things. But no. Very surprised, very surprised. Lau says a four month statewide ban on vaping products will essentially shut him down. No more cartridges, no more flavors. Uh, the only things I would be able to sell would be. I think just my, uh, the marijuana glass paraphernalia, glass pipes. Four employees out of work. Probably have to close down um, and file bankruptcy. A former smoker, Lau started vaping as an avenue to quit. And he says a lot of his customers, like Joe Hessian, are in the same boat. I'm really disappointed. Uh, you know, this is my alternative to smoking cigarettes. I finally quit smoking cigarettes after 20 some odd years, and now they're trying to take the vape away. Lau's stores only sell to people age 21 and up, and he agrees that nicotine should not be sold to minors, but he says kids are not getting it here. His stance on it and my stance on it are the same. Minors should not be getting their hands on nicotine products, especially on products like the Juul, which is 50 milligrams of nicotine. Cannabis Control Commissioner Shailene Title tweeted that this is, quote, a terrible idea that will push people to the illicit market and undermine the benefits of legal regulation. In Cleveland Circle, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.